Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name, I'm the Niche Fragrance Collector and I am excited and it's been a big setup. So we have with me the amazing Mr. Baja. Should I, did I say that right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Now we're in Kuala Lumpur and in fact we're inside the Pavilion Shopping Center. We got here early. How do you feel? You feel tired? Yeah, uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> you feel nervous? <laughs> yes. I feel nervous too. We're here at 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. 7.30 in the morning. There's and no air conditioning. And there's no air conditioning. Yeah, there's no air conditioning. And so it's a little bit... Yeah, it's a bit high. <laughs> it's a bit high. It's a bit high. But you know what? We're doing this for you. Isn't that right? Yes. Because we love them. All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to smell uh, some amazing Maison France. How do you say perfect? Is it Cujon, Cujon? Cujon. Uh, I've heard so many different um, breeds. Maison Francis Cujon. 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 He's a French Armenian. Yes. What we're going to do today, we're going to break this up. So today we're just going to focus on the aqua range. Now you're going to hear other noises. There's a man who's actually going past on that side, cleaning. Oh, he stopped. He's cleaning the, the center for us, which is, <laughs> which is nice. Yeah, so we're nice. here before the, the actual people come in. All right. Which one would you like to start with? Uh, we're going to start with the Aqua Universalis Forte. Awesome. We're only focusing on the Forte range. So each one of these, they come in a eau de toilette. Yeah, it comes in outer toilet and also it comes in outer parfum. Yeah. I like perfume that lasts on me. So this is why I, I chose the Forte. Oh. It's a good choice because Forte means outer parfum. Yep. It's like a hot to control. Right. It lasts you the whole day. Right. This is the Aqua Thank Universalis you. Forte, Aude Parfum. The citrus pot. Yeah, citrus, just musky, floral citrus. For me, the rose and the jasmine really play out. Yeah, I was yeah, wearing this. Of, oh, you're wearing this? I was wearing day. it the other day. I, yeah, I'm not day. wearing anything, but I will wear something to, before we finish. I'm going to put some, uh, some fragrances on. But I was wearing this the other day in the Kuala Lumpur heat, so it's nice. Yeah, and it's nice in this hot heat. Hot and balmy. Um, the the Universalis was popping. The rose note, the jasmine yeah, the note. The jasmine, in absolute, so it's stronger. I would find that this is comfortably a male or female. Even though it has jasmine and rose, this can easily be a man or a woman fragrance. Yes, it's actually uh, Aqua Universalis uh, is a generous collection. So it's both for man and woman. Right. For the universal, it does have sandalwood. Yes. Um, it does or doesn't? Oh, it doesn't have sandalwood. Oh, okay, because I have, I'm getting like a woody, musky. Well, there's a woody base, a I woody feel. Woody base, yeah, because of the absolute jasmine and rose. Right. Okay. I find that the citrus stays on the fragrance. So even though it does have that floral component to it, I still find that it's very citrusy. Citrusy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very light. Very, very, yeah, very, very light, light, fresh musky floral she's can use for every day now here in Kuala Lumpur again because it's quite warm who buys the most so when it comes to Universalis who's the the main is it men or women women yeah so they like the Universalis yeah they like better. the Universalis because it's uh Aqua Universalis it's actually it's our signature scent for Maison Francis Fougin right Really, I, I actually, I, I, cause I, I like gentle fluidity silver. Oh, gentle fluidity silver. So I thought that that was, uh, or even Baccarat Rouge. So, the, so that's not the signature scent for... Um... Uh, yeah, the signature scent is actually Aqua Universalis. Right. Baccarat Rouge Fafote is our iconic scent. Yeah, okay, right. So that's Aqua Universalis. Um, beautiful rose and jasmine notes that are playing in there. Citrus vibrance when it, when it opens up on the other uh, fragrance. So you find that all the aquas have a beautiful, bright, Citrus yeah, open. Citrus. Yeah. So the second one, we have the Aqua Celestial Forte. Does it have iris in this? Uh, it doesn't have iris. It has lime, bergamot. I feel like there's a powdery component to it. Okay, the Aqua Celestial Forte is actually it's a, a musky, floral, and fruity. Right. I'm definitely picking up the lime. The lime seems yeah, to so come Yeah, it's very fresh. It's a very fresh one. Citrus. It's really used for every day. Yeah, right. This is like an easy man or woman fragrance. Yeah, it's both, yeah, man or woman can use. What do you find the longevity on this one? Because I find that most of the Maison Francis on me last about six, seven hours oh, comfortably. Um, the other toilet or? No, I always have the parfum. I find that it's, it's not so citrus. So if I compare. To the Aqua Universalis. I find that there's a, there's a really citrus punch. Yeah, on, because on, of the bergamot. The, the bergamot. The bergamot. Because I can smell, so whereas I find that the, the Celestia is a little bit, fruity. I, I do get powderiness, powderiness out of it. I do get like a, maybe it's that musky. Yeah, musky, lime. 
Fumin. What's the next one you got on the list? Uh, the next one we do have the Aqua Vitae Forte. Now this is the one that I own. Oh, you I own it? I need it on skin. I need. It. I, I'll be. I've been I waiting for this on one. The skin. Yeah. This is very nice. The summer. It's made of lemon. It's gorgeous. The hair doing flower, guy at wood. That's for you to smell, my friend. I really love it. I think it's a nice scent for summer. Absolutely. Yeah, it has pink pepper. Yeah. And, and that wood, and that heading. cardamom. Yeah, cardamom. Because for me, I find that the citrus and the cardamom on the opening has this beautiful, bright, unusual opening. Because sometimes, okay, so I go, I go back. Universalis has a very bergamot, bergamot citrus, yeah. alive, vibrant. It comes down then into that jasmine and rose place. And I find that the Vita Forte, the spiciness of it stays in, in the yes, actual fragrance. Because of the pink pepper and right. the cardamom. And the cardamom. Cardamom in a fragrance is unique and divine. It has a, has a vibrant, spicy note to it. It's very alive, you know? I like the spiciness, fresh. I love the spiciness. You can use for summer. And this one on me lasts. Lasts in the whole day. Oh, e e again, even in this Kuala Lumpur heat, so we're getting, you know, very hot and, and very, uh, very, yes, very, very hot. humid. I can smell this all day long. Yeah, all day. Okay, so we're still wearing masks. Well, well uh, Malaysia is still wearing masks. I can smell it. Really with a mask on. Even with the mask on. It's, really it's really pretty impressive. All right, so they're the three in the aqua range. So Universalis, Vitae, and uh, Aqua Celestial. Celestial, okay. So my pick, I love Vitae. Vitae. I love Vitae. I can see that is your yep, favorite. It's, it's gorgeous. And I do love Universalis. So, another, so if you want vibrant. Oh, I love Universalis as well. It's bright. It's, yeah, it's, it's very vibrant. bright, fresh. Yeah. Now, in that aqua range, there's a whole bunch of different collections. They've come out with the colognes, which is mm. these yeah. guys here. So we have the cologne 40. So all three of them have come out with a cologne. Uh, they're in this brand new sort of different colored different bottles. Different bottles, yes. I, I tested them. I find that they're a lot more on the citrus side. Citrus side, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, which is, so if you want the more vibrant sort of punch, uh, one of that citrus punch, then the new collection is fantastic. For me, for my choice, I like the originals. And I do like, oh, like the Fortes because yeah, I, I find that they're a lot more complex in there. I can smell some of those other components that are, that are in the fragrance. So what we wanted to do is now show you also the Rose collection. So that's a, this is a recent, am I right? Uh, yeah, we launched the A La Rose for women in 2014. 2014? Yeah, 2014. Really? Yeah. So when, when did the man, the, the A La, what's it called? A La Rose? Uh, Le, okay, the man's Le Homme A La Rose, we launched in 2020. Okay, that's okay, yeah, okay. I thought perfume was unisex. I thought so. <laughs> so why do we have a la rose, or a rose for a man and a rose for a woman? So Francis Cujan, he created the Le Homme a la rose in 2020 so he's giving uh, the man uh, the power to wear a rose not just for women right that was a trick question <laughs> that was a trick question because <laughs> what 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 francis has done is tell me if i'm wrong okay so he's using the same core ingredients in this case here rose yeah rose but accentuating it in different ways yeah. so sometimes we find that uh, a woman likes to be a little bit more feminine. feminine. feminine so you tend to have a softness in the florals. The floral or, notes. That's right. And for a man, most cases, men like more strong, woody, aromatic scent. Correct. So on a woman that might not play so well. And so what he's done is he's cleverly, I think he's very, yeah, clever, he's very clever, that he's done this balance between the two where the same notes, but they're accentuated in different ways to fit that, the gender, man or woman. But, but if now, if we're a couple, well, we're not a couple. <laughs> but a man and a woman who are married can have the, these two scents yeah, and the two so scents play together. together. It's like a silhouette. I, I, I just, I think that's gorgeous. How would you define this? It's very beautiful, fresh, uh, musky floral with the notes of Damascana rose, Santa Fla rose, with uh, magnolia, yes, and violet. Right. It's a very delicate rose, 
there is a deepness in the rose, but it's that it has a brightness at the same time. It's, it's, it's a very, um, it's a very light, like light rose. But some roses, it's very strong. Yeah, correct. Almost feels like a summery rose. Yeah, summery. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And he has this 400 roses in one bottle. 400 Hundred roses in one bottle. I love the fact that a lot of the niche uh, perfume houses. They use good essential oils, which means that you really have to extract yes, from yes, nature. Yes, yes, yes. That's amazing. That's 400 roses in 400 one bottle. 400 roses in one bottle. So ladies, if you like your rose, uh, a very light, very um, summery kind of rose, this yeah, is Yeah, definitely go magic. for the ala rose. This is our best selling here. Right. So now for the boys. The next one will be the Loom ala rose. How do you find it? I find it spicy. Spicy? I find it that this Woozy. is... Yeah, there's like a floral. With, um, it, it has a rose, but this but is now, this is different. It's woody. You can smell the sage oil, the grapefruit, and with rose, of course. I think it's the sage then. The sage oil. Because I find it on, on I've, I've actually tried uh, on skin, on for skin the low rose. and I find that it's a very subtle rose. It's a very subtle rose. As you know, Francis Guignan, he is the best rose. Uh, scent of flowers rose and diamonds can arose from grace. Right. It's very beautiful rose. Men, I know that sometimes we feel a little bit intimidated by rose. Oh, rose. Traditionally, rose has been it's worn been quite by women. By women. Yeah. I mean, anciently, rose was worn by men. So anciently, oh, in Rome and Greece, oh. rose was uh, a, a classic, classic scent, scent for men. men. Then, you know, in the in the more recent time, rose became adopted by uh, for women's yeah, scent, for women's scent, cosmetics, and everything else. And so we sometimes associate rose to a woman. So, if you would like men to venture into getting a rose that has a masculine lean to it, then you should get a little by that rose. Absolutely, there's a spicy component to it. Yeah, I can. I'm just easy. getting that slight grapefruit coming grapefruit through. Grapefruit against the grapefruit. Yeah. On the dry down, the rose does come through nicely, but it's not a soft feminine rose, it's not a floral rose. There is a masculine lean to this. What did Francis say about this? He wanted to create a rose for a man. Yeah, so saying, tell me more about that. The rose is used by women. Yeah. So now he's giving the power for men to use rose because men also like to be more feminine. Yeah. yeah so the idea is that, you know, it gives the man a confidence, yeah, confidence to, to wear something. To wear something that's it's a little bit more on the floral more side. Floral, yes. Yeah. But still retains that masculine yeah, component. Yeah, that's masculine component. This is the Maison Francis Crujon Aqua Range. Vibrant, fresh. I use Vitae all year round. In summer, it's just summer magic though. It's just magic. For the ladies, you've got a la rose, which is this glorious scent. as a soft feminine, feminine floral, floral rose scent for, scent, scent for women. And then for the boys, la um a la rose, which is a glorious, spicy, woody, floral rose scent for the boys. Thank you, mate. Welcome. Anything else you want to, want to add to this? Um, no, <laughs> we're done. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you guys all on the next episode.